Hey guys, it's Jackie. I hope you're all doing well. I am so happy to be home today here in Michigan. It was about 75 degrees, um, not a lot of humidity, so I was really happy for that. I'm wearing my vintage throwback Walt Disney t-shirt that I got from there. But I ordered some candles from Ulta, which I had no idea that they were selling candles. They actually had homeworks on there too, but when I finally figured that out, um, any of the scents that I would have gotten were already gone. I do have a few homeworks. I haven't had the greatest luck with them, but since they were on Ulta 2 for 20 and I could get points and use my money off, I wanted to try them. But I didn't get them yet. But I ordered three candles from Ulta because I had like $17 in my points, which is what I love about Ulta is that you do, you know, you get your points are money so you can get it off future purchases. And then I finally got my Kringle candle order in. Um, I had ordered it back in July. Give me one moment. Okay, sorry about that. So I was making dinner and the smoke alarm was going off. I finished dinner, got that all done. So what I was saying is I had picked up a few things from Ulta and then I finally got my Kringle candle order in that I had ordered in July. So hopefully we're all caught up to speed on where I was in the video. Um, so I picked up three of the Ulta candles and these are scented soy blend. The first one is crisp apple. So, and I think all of the packaging is exactly the same. I have not smelled these yet. It smells like apple. It's cream colored wax. I feel like my lights are too bright. That might be better. Okay. Cream colored wax. And on the bottom it just says crisp apple scented soy blended candle. Um, it does not say how many. Oh, it's 14.5, which is exactly the same as a um, Bath and Body Work candle. And the it doesn't say anything else besides petroleum, hydrogenated soybean, paraffin fragrance, and some kind of wax. I'm not even going to pretend like I know how to say that. It says made in the U.S. from U.S. and import, imported components. Distributed out of Illinois for Alta.com. So here is that one. It's a very simple um, label. It just says crisp apple. And it smells like a, an apple. I don't... We'll see. Oh, it's soft. It's very reminiscent to like Red Delicious from Bath and Body or um, Yankee Candle. It's very similar to that. The next one is Pumpkin Spice. And it has a pumpkin on it. That first one had an apple. They're just slightly different in colors, and they got leaves on them. This smells like pumpkin and spice, like uh, cinnamon. So I, I didn't even know that Ulta made candles. I just saw them on their um, website. Oh, I know what I was talking about. So I saw the Homeworks candles. They were two for 40 um, but there weren't any scents that I wanted to try. I, like I had said, I haven't had a lot of um, luck with the Homeworks. But now that they're on Ulta, I thought I'd give them a try, but I'll have to go back and look. This was like two weeks ago when I was looking. So this one just says pumpkin spice scented soy blend candle. So the fragrance notes are not on here. And this one says hashtag Ulta beauty collection. Oh, that one does too. Sorry. And it smells like pumpkin and spice. This one has like a sour note to it. I don't know. We'll see. I'll burn it and tell you guys what I think. And then the third one I got was Toasted S'mores. So, again, it looks like a little fire. They all have the same type of label. And it just says Toasted S'mores. And this one, to me, is really good. I wish I would have gotten two of these. And I want to say when I bought them, they were buy two, get one free plus a $10 off a certain dollar amount. I can't remember what the dollar amount was. And I used my points to get these candles. I do like this one. This one's nice. It doesn't smell like toasted s'mores though. It smells more like a perfume. 
Yeah, it doesn't smell like toasted s'more. So we'll see. I'll burn these and then let you guys know what I think. So I got those. And then new to me is Kringle. And these were part of their um, Halloween collection or limited edition. Um, I'm not really sure because I'm not very hip on Kringle. I do know that Mike. Michael Kittredge Jr. is the owner of Kringle. His father was the founder of Yankee Candle. Um, there's a Facebook group that I follow that they know way more about the Kringle Candle than I do. I should probably learn a little bit more. So this is the first time that I have ever gotten any Kringles. And the first one I picked up is Candy Corn. Really, really pretty. So let's do a thumbnail since it matches my Walt Disney shirt. Um, so this will be a first impressions and a first sniff. And it just says Kringle Candle Company. Um, are the ounces on here? I feel like it, okay. 22 ounces and up to 100 hours of a burn time. And it just says candy corn on the bottom. It has some numbers, which I'm assuming is 19 for 2019. It says um, com, and they are out of Massachusetts. And it has two wicks. And this does smell good. And it's a black, like a dark black gray. And this does smell like candy corn. I'm interested to see how that will burn because, you know, it's in a taller um, glass. So they came today and they were extremely well wrapped. Very, very impressed with their shipping. And the picture is realistic. It's the candy corns. And then it says Kringle here in like silver foil lettering. Um, I don't know that this one was the limited edition because this one says limited edition on it. And this one is Trick or Treat and it says Country Candle, which is a Kringle. So, I don't know. Is Country Candle and Kringle the same? I'll have to find out. I'm not sure. And this one is Trick or Treat. And again, the notes aren't on here, but it does say Limited Edition. And it's got black pumpkins that are lit. And the wax is a really, really pretty wax. And what I like about these is they have two wicks in them. And did I tell you how many ounces? 24 ounces. And this one's Trick or Treat. I don't remember what it smells like. I just wanted to get a limited edition. I don't know what that smells like. I'll have to look it up. Ooh, the wax is weird feeling. It doesn't, it's not soft like other wax. It's really nice because you can see all the oil there at the top. I think I'll start burning this one first to see. I don't remember what the notes were on this. I am puzzled because I ordered these like in the middle of July. I don't remember. And now it's like literally almost the first of September. I want to, <laughs> it's trick or treat. It's got some kind of sweet scent and like a candy, maybe a little bit of chocolate and a spice. So we'll see. I'll have to burn that one to tell you guys, you know, what I think. And the packaging is really, really pretty. And it does say limited edition there above the country candle. And the pumpkin pictures are very um, realistic. And there's some bats flying around there. Um, there's a code on the bottom. Again, I'm wondering if that the 19 stands for 2019. Um, it doesn't say anything about what scents are on there. And I can't remember if I can still see this online. If I can, I'll try to remember when I do a post burn review, I'll try to remember to pick up the notes so that I can tell you exactly what are in these. Because this one smells just like candy corn. And I love those pumpkin, the pumpkin ones there, they taste just like can, uh, can, um, can I talk? Can, candy corn. <laughs> keep saying cotton candy, it's not what I mean. Um, but I, I think out of the two of these, I do prefer this one just on the cold sniff um, because I can't pinpoint the scent on this one. So I'll have to start burning this and then I'll let you guys know. So that is the haul that I have, the Alta candles and then my Kringle candles. 
I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I hope you have a good Labor Day. I don't know what other video, I just was popping this, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what other videos that I'll be filming. I have some post burn reviews. Um, I started burning some candles that I had gotten. Keep in mind, I just got home from Disney, so I had a lot of yard work to do and just catching up on laundry and all that good stuff. I hope you guys are doing well. If you have any video ideas, and just think she was missing it tonight. Uh, a friend of mine, Kim, um, she was telling me about a new candle wax or scented wax I want to try. I think it's called Silky Soaps, if I'm not mistaken. So I am going to order from her. I have an empties video from Candles by Jackie. And I have another order coming hopefully in the next week or so that I'm going to be placing with her. Hope you guys are doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!